Today I'm going to talk about car batteries and I'm going to talk about first car battery maintenance how to keep and maintain your car battery so it can last longer and I'm also going to talk about a couple of ways to check on your car battery to see how healthy it is so let's get started so first let's talk about the battery I have right here uh, I bought this car in 2014 so it's uh, about five years ago and when I bought the car the battery was already in the car and you take a look at the date code here on the battery it is November 2011 so the battery is almost eight years old a typical car battery only lasts about three to four years this one lasts almost eight years seven and a half years to be exact so that's quite a long time and I'm not even the original owner of this battery so first let's talk about maintenance how to maintain your battery and keep the battery last a long time a lead acid battery like this to be healthy it always needs to be at 100% charge so what I do is I use a couple of alligator clips and then uh, connect to my wire out to a connector and then I use a small solar panel and then I'm gonna connect to my battery and keep my battery fully charged when I'm not using the car this is a small solar panel it's only about 5 watts so I don't have to worry about overcharging the battery I don't have to even use a charge controller all I do is I solder a diode onto the wire and that will prevent back feet from the battery to the solar panel at night when there's no sunlight another way to keep your battery healthy is to keep it clean so what happens when your battery is dirty so I purposely leave the battery dirty so I can show you in this video um, on this battery is kind of leaking acid out on the top of the battery here you can see it's kind of wet on the plastic we'll show you what happens when the battery is dirty to measure the difference between the positive terminal and the plastic case of the battery that's about four volts on the plastic almost six volts there let's see all the way to this side that's nine volts on the plastic about over here 5.6 volts nothing here because it's dry I guess but the wet part what about 6 volts and you can see the plastic the top part of the battery is mounted onto this piece of metal here which is the chassis of the car so it's actually connected to the chassis it's constantly leaking out power even when I'm not using the car and not only does it leak power from the positive terminal to the chassis which is also the negative terminal of the battery there's a bridge between the positive terminal and the negative terminal via the the plastic case here because it's dirty dust and the battery acid accumulate and form a bridge between these two terminals and the power is also leaking this way I want to show you again from the positive terminal to the plastic we got 10 volts the reason why I got battery acid leakage on the top of the plastic of the battery is because we got two covers here and they are com not completely sealed there are vents on the cover to let the hydrogen gas to come out so every time you drive your car through bumps and when you turn will cause the liquid inside the battery to move around a lot it will go through the vent and it eventually comes out at the top of the cover of the battery here let me show you the cover on the battery here so you just pry it it will come out very easily there's a vent right here on the top here to let the gas out so that's why it's very important to keep the top of your battery clean as possible and because you lose battery liquid 
via leakage and via charging the battery another way to keep your battery in top shape is to use distilled water and fill the battery liquid so what you do is you remove the plastic cover here use a flat screwdriver and pry it out okay and you want to use distilled water only to fill in the battery liquid so next I'm going to show you a couple of ways to test the battery to see what condition it's in for this test your battery has to be at rest for at least a couple of hours after you use the car so this test is not accurate if you just use the car and the battery just being charged so you have to let the battery sit for like a few hours before you do this test the first and the easiest way is to use a voltmeter so just measure across the two terminals of the battery and read the voltage a good battery is usually between 12.5 to 12.7 volts when it's at rest this battery is on its last leg you see there 12.37 volts anything below 12.5 is probably not good and at 12.39 12.4 it's probably bad I try to keep and maintain the battery as best I can but I think at the end age and dirtiness finally took a toll on the battery another way to check on the battery status uh, more accurately using a voltmeter is to check on the individual cells of the battery so what you do is you remove the cover underneath here we got six cells so what you do to measure individual cell is to stick the probe into the hole and touch the liquid so the first cell is between the positive terminal and the liquid of the first hole so we got 1.74 volts second cell is between these two holes 2.12 third 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 so as you can see the first two cells are not good another way to test your battery is to use a battery hydrometer like this one here it will suck up the juice inside every cell it will tell you whether the cell is good or bad instantly all right let's give it a try i've got my distilled water in this cup and I'm going to rinse it out every time I move to the next cell. So I'm going to fill up to this line. Okay, tap out the bubble. And it will show you the reading here. So this cell is good. Alright. I'll rinse it out. Try the next one. This sails all the way down here. It's borderline between good and fair. So this sail is probably not good. Okay. Rinse it out. Try the next one. You want the liquid to go all the way to the top. Okay. Tap the bubble out. So this is way up here, so it's good. Next. So this is good. Okay. Next. This is good. Alright. Next one. This is probably good. So as you can see, this cell here is the lowest among the six cells. Another way to test the battery is use a battery tester like this one here. There's a resistor inside and when you turn it on, it will heat up the resistor and you're going to put the battery under load and at the same time we show the state of charge of the battery. So when you hook it up, we will show the voltage 
on the battery when it's not under load you can see there the dial it's at 12 so it's about 12 volts and i'm going to turn it on and supposed to do it for maximum 10 seconds but usually it only takes a few seconds you can see there it is bad and the resistor gets hot so this is one of the fastest and the most accurate test so this battery is on its last leg and uh, I can feel it when I start the car it's kind of hesitate a little bit and I try to maintain as best I can but I think finally uh, age and dirtiness finally caught up with it and that's all I have for now thanks for watching I'll see you next time